In this video trade, we're gonna look at finding that one weak spot in your trading to make significant improvements. Stay tuned. Hey guys, a very warm welcome to you, okay? So if you're struggling with your trading, you need to take some positive action to improve it. What you can't do, and believe me, I've done this before, is just plow on regardless, think I can work harder, I can do more, I can do more research, I can make better trades, I only need a good little run. It doesn't work like that. You've got to strip yourself back to basics and go, okay, what has gone wrong? How can I fix it? And the best way to start that is to find the one weak spot in your trading. Like the 80-20 rule, find the one thing that moves you forward the most and you'll have the best success from that. So the title of this video is finding that one weak spot in your trading. How do we do it? Okay, so in an ideal world, you'll have a journal, you'd have all the stuff there, you'd have a trading plan, etc. But before you turn off the video and go, I haven't got that, that's okay. We know we need that. So if you haven't got that, please put a plan of action into having a journal and a trading plan. But I get it. A lot of people start out trading, don't have a plan, they don't know what they're doing, they've got no strategy, they've got no journal, but you must have a plan to be able to improve. You cannot improve unless you've got a plan because if you don't know if you're trading in a consistent way, you don't know whether that's the correct way or the wrong way. You, if you're trading just randomly, you've got no data to work on. So get a plan together, get a journal together. Right, that's that out of the way. Now I wanna look at, okay, consider this. You've probably got an equity curve that looks a little bit like this. Um, you're either one or, the, one or the other. You're either this guy here, losing steadily, bang, big losses come out of nowhere, seemingly nowhere, or you're this guy here. You've progressed a bit. We're we still in the screen, we are. You've progressed a bit, and maybe you're making a little bit of progress, and you're quite happy, and then out of nowhere comes these big hits, and you get wiped out. If you are one of these guys, then this is specifically for you. So assuming you haven't got a trading plan, which we know you should, we're not gonna lecture on that. Assuming you haven't got a journal, we know you should, no lecture on that. What do we do? So to identify this one weak spot, we need to find why this is happening, what's going on, what's causing this. Now, we could have a third and a fourth one, and they might be stagnating profits or stagnating flatlining. But most of the time, in my experience, seeing other traders and knowing for myself is that this is kind of the thing that happens. You have good progress or you have slight down move and you have these horrible kind of drafts in it, or you have stagnations. Either way, it doesn't matter. So the point is, if we've got no data, what we need to do is we need to look at a trades in a big block, whether we download them to Excel, whether we put them in, in, a, in a spreadsheet and download them uh, physically on paper or PDF, or whatever it may be. And then we need to identify these clusters of bad trades, if you like, in that uh, cluster of data, in that data. So if we're on Excel, or if we're on, a, on literally pen and paper, that's fine. Once we've identified those, then we need to go and print out the charts of the trades before the trades, the, those really bad sequence of trades or the bad trade or stagnating trades, or whatever, and the trades after. Take some time, but I promise you it's worth it. Then we're going to look at everything we can. Now this process becomes way easier when you've got a trading plan and you've got a trading journal because you can see what's going on. But if you haven't and you haven't got a plan, you've been kind of shooting from the hip, we need to identify what's caused this group of losses. What's caused this drawdown? What's going to cause this continued acceleration to the downside in your equity curve, which is what we don't want. It may be, okay, now I can spot, you've got this down. You might say, okay, uh, well, look at this. There's a real pattern here that the time of day, I tend to, if I have a bad morning, if I'm day trading, I tend to try and make it up in the rest of the day and that screws me over. Or if I'm a swing trader, look, if I have a bad trade at the start of the month, I try and get it back and that causes me to go into this phase. So easy fix, right? I've done other videos on how we fix this kind of thing, but you can see the easy fix. The easy fix is once I've identified the problem, the fix becomes relatively easy. Actually doing the fix is challenging, but subscri subscribing, so used to saying about subscribers on here, prescribing the right solution is relatively easy. It's like, okay, well, if I have bad trades after I've had a losing first trade in a month, what I do if I first trade in a month from a swing trade as a loser? I step off the throttle because I know I don't want this again. What I'm doing from a day trader, I step off the throttle. It might well be after a big loser you do this. It might be after you've had a break and you've been working hard doing other stuff and you come back into the market and you push too hard and you get caught out in this. It might be after a good run, which is why we print off the charts before the sequence of bad trades and after, because we want to see as much patterns as possible. 
Is it a specific market? Is that the catalyst? There's normally a catalyst, guys, that causes this, whether it is external, whether it is something, but it's normally the way that we are trading as opposed to how bad spell on our strategy, which we probably don't have if we're in this case in the first place. Obviously, if we have got a strategy, then we can identify right away that actually, you know what, that specific strategy that was employed there is no use for this type of market etc and one more thing you can do as well is look at the market conditions that's why it's so useful to print off the chart because you can visually see and say hey well hey this is a trending market and i'm trying to fade this thing and i did this four trades in a row and i lost quite a lot of money and that caused me to kind of go on tilt a little bit and lose more right i need to make sure i'm not doing that again or it's when volatility's died off we had a big spell of volatility before i was making good money doing okay then it kind of contracted right off and i was trying to press in an environment that wasn't right the right conditions for me ah, I need to back off the throttle a little bit now. And so you can start to identify stuff and it's a good starting point and it will improve your trading because it just will because you'll end up knocking over that one domino, so to speak, that knocks everything else over. In other words, taking out the biggest kind of worst uh, impact of your trading, removing that, it's not going to make you uh, pull Judo Jones overnight, but it's going to give you a good start because you can say, okay, that's the big problem I have. Remove that, put into some some strategy in place to remedy that and the first step is identifying it remedy it then we can do the next one then the next one then the next one before you do it working on the weakness or the big weak spots moves your PL forward then you can work on your strengths and stuff so check this out guys have a look at it it's worth spending the time if you want to if you want to crack this nut and you want to kind of move forward it's worth spending the time putting those charts out analyze those charts see if you can see a commonality see if you can see a catalyst and then work to avoid that in the future and you'll find you get good results. If you like this kind of stuff and you wanna see more, thumbs up so much appreciated. Subscription is if you're new here as well, also appreciate and appreciate your support um, for all those who have subscribed to the channel already. Whatever you're doing guys, take care, keep your risk managed and I'll see you later, bye-bye.